Well, good morning, good afternoon, and of course, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to my 2,771st edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. And I want to thank you all for tuning in. You guys are great. Your comments are fantastic. We love this community. Let's see what we've got going on. So I just got back into town. I was in Utah. I went to Utah on Friday with my daughter, Natalie, to visit my son, Michael. I miss my son to death. He's been, um, he's been doing an internship through UNLV, the college he's in, in Arizona, excuse me, in Utah for Amazon. And he's been away for almost six weeks and I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> so I went to go visit my son. I surprised him with my daughter, his sister, Natalie. And then I spent the entire day at Metastock. And thank you, Metastock. You guys are so great. We love your software. We love your company. Great tech support. Metastock, you go. So had a fantastic four days in Utah and I'm back. Traders, it is literally 115 degrees out as I speak to you. So I don't want to go upstairs and get in my studio and get in front of a camera. So I'm going to do one of these desktop shoots for you tonight. And no matter how hot it is tomorrow, I'll get in front of that camera. So let's see what's going on. This video, 2771, is, is for trading on Wednesday, July 10th, 2024. Before we get started, please remember how risky trading can be. Risky, 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 risky. Granted, the Omni has been blessing us with winning trades when it does trade. Thank you, Omni. But hey, it's risky out there. Put your stops in. Put them in first. Never trade without them. What are we looking at, traders? Here's your Dow Jones transportation average. It has been deemed the leader of U.S. indices by Charles Dow himself. Remember, this is called the Dow Jones, right? Charles Dow's theory is that the transportation average leads, and you know what? The market's named after him. I'm not arguing with the guy. <laughs> so it, it does lead, but not every day. It's not like the leader where if transportation's going down, you get short NASDAQ and it works. That's not the ticket here. The ticket here is it's a very slow leading indicator type leader, whereas it'll make a move first and later on, a month or two or a few months later, the rest of the markets will catch up. That's why it's deemed the leader. Now, you are looking at the Dow Jones Transportation Average, and the last time I showed you this chart, we were up here and I was explaining how it could not close above the Omni Trading Academy's Proprietary Moving Average, or OTAPMA. And it fails up there and cracks and it tries to get it again and it cracked again. Now, this spot right here with this circle is all time forever highs in the Dow Jones Transportation Average. It's this blue line right here. So up by this blue line is all time highs. So all time highs are here. The market is trading here. Okay, so what does that actually show us? All time highs are here, all the way up here. The market right now is trading all the way down here. That is divergence at its, at its absolute utmost. Here's what I mean by that. It, it is divergence at its greatest meaning of the word divergence. We are looking at its greatest meaning. Why? Well, contract highs for S&P is right here. We're at them. We're at contract highs as I speak to you, but when you look at Dow Jones transportation average, it's not, <laughs> it's far from contract highs. Now that my friends is absolutely divergence at its absolute utmost. Oh, that's not the chart I wanna show you. I wanna show you this one. At its absolute utmost, um, 21 is the difference between where we're at in the transportation average being the leader and where we are now in most of the other U.S. indices. Now that doesn't make sense. That is this. It is absolute divergence. What this chart is, is you are looking at the NASDAQ, which is in the blue bars, and you're looking at the transportation average, which is the red and green bars. Now, the NASDAQ and the transportation average, if we use this as a measuring tool, stay with each other. They almost never get too far apart. 
right? About the furthest apart they are is right around this blue measuring stick when you can see that the blue chart and the red and green chart are slightly separating, but they stay with each other in most cases, right? They're both sort of going up and down together. Right about here, the separation starts to get larger and wider and now it gets stupidly wide and then it just goes ballistic. The rubber band expanded all the way as far as this. It was this high and this low. So you had it all the way here. All the way up here was your rubber band. Since then it came in a little bit, right? Let me, let me move some measuring tools now. Since then it came down, NASDAQ came down, and the transportation average went up, and then the measuring stick was only this big. So it actually did come in from a measurement of that far apart divergence to only this far apart. But look at what's happened now. Now it's starting to expand again. We are here now using a measuring, just a simple measuring tool. Now the expansion is this far apart as of this video that I'm doing for you live, which means the it's just diverging even further and the thing about that is it cannot cannot continue in other words this can't just continue to go down letting this go up that's not how the world works it has to at some point there's got to be a reckoning now i am not saying the s p has to go down the transportation can go up but something has to happen here and the Omni is starting to flutter and tell me to start maybe selling some rallies in the Russell and maybe the YM. All right, and that's probably what we're going to do for trading on the 10th, which is Wednesday. Now, there is some other, there are some other markets out there to look at. The grains have been going crazy. And take a look at this interesting gem. For you Bitcoin fans, look at what Bitcoin did. It came running all the way down to the bottom of that flag that I've been showing you for a couple of months now, I've been showing you this flag, comes down to the bottom of the flag, smashes into the average and heads right back up. Nice hold Bitcoin at the bottom of the flag. You gotta love that. So I thought I'd point that out to you. It looks like Bitcoin may start to become a buyer's market again. And this is a fantastic hold inside of the big bull flag. Right, held the average, held the flag, not bad. So Bitcoin's got some buyers. There are some traders looking at it again, and it's starting to move higher. And I think Bitcoin looks pretty smart right here. We'll see what happens on Wednesday. Traders, that's what I wanted to show you. Be careful of, of that big divergence taking place in the transportation average versus the NASDAQ and the S&P. That divergence is enormous. It's unusual, and it likely won't stay that way. A reckoning will take place. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure, you know what? If you want to tell me, if you don't mind, answer below. Let's see what you people think. I haven't asked you in a while. Do you think that the divergence will continue, A, and the markets will just somehow allow Dow transports to continue down? And NQ up? Or would it be B, a reckoning takes place. Meaning NASDAQ, S&P come down a little and get back together with the other indices. What do you think happens? A, the transportation average allows the Dow to continue going up without it. Or I should say allows the S&P and NASDAQ. Or B, let's change the colors. And B, if you answer B, a reckoning will take place. And I'm sorry, I spelled reckoning. A reckoning. A reckoning will take place. Meaning, at some point, this has to happen. We will start to see NASDAQ come down and get closer to the price of the transportation average. Maybe even forcing the transportation average up a little making that divergence a little smaller. Something has to happen as far as I'm concerned, but I would like to know what you think. Is it A, just let it keep going until it stops, because that's basically what you're supposed to do with markets anyway, 
or B, a reckoning will take place and not too long from now. Please answer below. I will do the tally tonight and tomorrow. And in our next video, we'll see what you think compared to what actually happened. Traders, thank you for answering the questions. Thank you for subscribing to my videos, for liking and sharing them. We love you guys. If you need help trading, go to livewithoscar.com and join my platinum recommendation service i'll send you signals like we're going to trade tonight we're already in a trade we're looking to do another trade you will get direct signals from me where to buy where to sell where to place your stops where to take your profits and if that's not what you need then just come to my live trading room hang out with me like i am right now i'm filming this video live but i'm waving to you on my camera come hang out with me and everyone else in my live trading room and i will see you there so traders remember careful with this S&P right now. It's at a strange spot, so be a little careful out there. What I would do if you are going to trade S&P and NASDAQ is be very nimble. If you get in and you have a profit, get out, cancel the stop, sideline yourself till the next day. That would be my opinion. All right, traders, make sure you answer the question A or B, and then say this to yourselves over and over again, and by now you should know what that is stop so traders that's the truth keep your emotions out and i'll see you all at livewithoscar.com